Hello, my name is George Macklin, and here we are in the middle of the United States. That's where I live. I was born in New York, uh, not far from New York City, to immigrant um, on my mother's side. They're all from Germany. My father's side, long time ago from Scotland. And so you would call me a native speaker. But today I want to tell you about something that Serini and I are doing, particularly for India, but from the Middle East all the way to the Far East, we have something exciting to share with you. Um, I was in the military for 20 years in the United States Army, and since that time I've been a surveyor, primarily working in the engineering field. I am not a conventional teacher. As a matter of fact, I qualify myself by saying that I was the most important kind of teacher, a drill sergeant who trains soldiers and I always say that that kind of teaching is most critical because it's usually life and death situations. But anyway, um, I'm part of Srini's team. And together, we are building something new and something different. He asked me to use the word dynamic. And I said, no, no, new, maybe, maybe not. Efficient, well, yes, we want to be efficient in what we do. Or it's a hot new way to do things. No, I say fun. We want to put the fun into functional um, English. Most of you have had frustration and problems with working on your English fluency. Almost every single student I meet, if you took English in high school in whatever country, you probably know more grammar and more about the proper use of English than the average American college graduate. Most of you know more, more, college, uh, more grammar rules than I do. But you have trouble with speaking and the fluency and being able to easily communicate in English. Well, Srini and I believe that we know what the problem is. You see, we treat English as though it's a skill, like a sport, or riding a bicycle, or playing a musical instrument. It's not about studying harder, focusing deeper, learning all the rules, learning more and more words. As a matter of fact, you probably know more than enough words already, but being able to access those words and grasp them without having to think hard, that's the problem. So, what we've done is, we've recognized that primarily it's repetition, revising, and tapping into a different part of your brain. Your left brain is very logic and rule driven. And that's what you use for a lot of science and math and things like that, including the rules of grammar. But the problem is, your language center is in the right brain, where you have ideas, where you have fun, where there's no rules, where Anything is possible where story, song, and, and happiness plays. I even believe where your spirit lies. You have not had the opportunity to use your right brain. So what we're doing, we're putting the fun back in. Where learning is an adventure, where learning is exciting, where anyone can learn, and we're using fun as the prime vehicle. As I said, repetition is still king, and learning something deeply. So what we're choosing to do is instead of trying to discipline you to be um, strict, um, hardworking people, we believe that fun activities, song, story, um, anything that you're passionate about, that's what we're grasping for your English. Our primary vehicle is what we call karaoke English. You do not have to sing in class, but everybody enjoys listening and quite often singing along with an mp3. That's where we're starting to correct the mistakes, to correct the problems, to get you more easily accessing your English and then we take you through to spoken English based on the words and the particularly the phrases or chunks that you learn. So I can't go into all of it now but um, I want you to know that your world is about to change. Your world 
is going to it's going to be tough because accepting that fun can be a good thing is going to be tough but we're going to take you places that you belong that it's an adventure that it's an exciting and fun thing excuse me I dropped my controller um, so let me give you a little pitch here just to get started ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of all ages grasp small children firmly by the hand those of you who have been warned of a heart condition do not proceed further take a deep breath and take a big step a step into your future the future of learning English online we have something that you do not want to miss so listen to Srini and come and visit and you're most welcome we'll be there for you we don't give up very easy and well, I guess that's enough. So, bye-bye. This is George signing off. Take care, Srini. Thanks for inviting me.